Hey everyone, I'm Robert. And I'm Jessica. With Exploring the Local Life. And today we're going to follow up our slide painting with... We're going to put up some curtains. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've actually had any window coverings that make any sense. And what we focused on now is getting something that's going to give us a little bit of privacy during the day and some light at the same time. Yeah, we didn't want to go with, um, we can get some that were like blackout curtains that would of course help maintain the interior temperature of the RV morning, day, and night. Um, and then of course block out anything we didn't want coming in as far as noise and lighting. But then we would be creating a really dark kind of environment. And for almost a year now we've been having actually uh, scarves hanging. <laughs> um, and they have been fairly sheer. So we Pretty kind of got colorful. used to, yeah. And they've, We've kind of gotten used to that amount of lighting in the RV, even with the curtains drawn. Curtains drawn. So we went with something that's a little bit lighter. Here's what we ended up getting. We ordered these from Amazon. We have an Amazon store, so if you are thinking about getting your own curtains and things, you can order via our Amazon links. And see, it's a pretty sheer fabric, but it did have some color. We did not want to go with all white because we're dirty. Well, yes, we're dirty. Um, but also, we just didn't want, you know, kind of like a generic, everybody has white walls with white curtains, with white cabinets, with white throw pillows, with white, everything's white. Um, and it is pretty, but we wanted to throw in a little bit more color and I think a little bit more about like who we actually are. And that is some color. So some color, some brightness, and light. Yeah. And, oops. Oh shoot, it's... And this is what we went with for our, oh, <laughs> great demo. With our curtain rods, and we got these at Lowe's nearby. We did. Um, and then for right here behind us in the kitchen area, we decided to go with an actual white one, and that's because the window is very small, and we are going to have a lot of light, nice stuff happening over here anyway, and we just thought that the white might be kind of nice to offset some of the other colors. Now one thing you have to be cognizant Cheer of, again. Yeah, living in an RV is your windows are not the same size as household windows, so you always want to measure and then begin the long painful hunt for something that's actually going to work. Going to fit and, and make it make it work. So enough about talking about it, let's go ahead and get to the actual install. Alright, putting up curtain rods in the RV is just like putting up curtain rods at home. You find a hole that you've had in the wall previously and you try to use it again. So uh, we've had mini blinds, which they, of course the RV came with, and they're more like wooden blinds or mini blinds. And then we put up our own curtain rods, and of course none of these holes are going to match up, but I think since we have a thicker screw with these curtain rods, I might be able to reuse one of those. Let's see. Now Robert mentioned earlier that these RV windows, of course, are a different size than any other window ever. Um, they are 60 inches wide, and then they're 24 inches high. So we couldn't get regular curtains because if you've ever look at them, they're like 60, 80 inches long. That's there's no way that that's you know, no. So what we ended up getting was actually um, like kitten curtain kitchen curtains, which are actually exactly 24 inches long. And then as far as the width, um, the curtains that we found were 25 inches across. So we ended up getting um, three of these packets because the packets came with um, two panels inside. But if we only got the two panel ones, one packet of them, it would have only been 50 inches. So we would have had a big section that wasn't covered. So we got three to cover these two windows in our slide. And we'll see how we did here in a second. So if we had drywall, of course, we'd be using wall anchors, but you know, since this is a fiber more type of situation, we're able to just use the screws right into it. Uh, using a uh, wall anchor would just, uh, you know, be making a bigger hole. It may not provide really any benefit to our situation here. So we're going to continue on and put in some more holes. Here we go. So this is my guide hole. So we're just going to mark where we need to drill the new one. You 
don't need to go in too deep in an RV because you never know what you're gonna get. You might get the sunshine. Now this also comes with a center support, but there isn't enough space to put a center support, which also actually dries while we're getting pretty light curtains. We don't want something really heavy weighing down the curtain rod. So in this case, it works out well for us on all fronts. Nice and bright, nice and white, lots of light, and lightweight curtains. I'm also screwing these in by hand instead of the, the uh, drill because I don't want to accidentally over tighten and strip things out. Well, it looks like it's determined to be crooked, so we'll just deal with it. All right, so looks like it's on pretty well, pretty sturdy. Again, we won't be able to put on a middle bracket for support. That's just how it rolls in a travel trailer. All right, that's our first panel. Second panel and Robert, can you hand me the third panel? It's back behind there. Sure. My arms aren't long enough for this. You should have put it on the large rod. Well. How um here we go. curtains and then we can just do whatever the heck we want or if we just want to keep that middle part there just pull it aside however the heck we want to do it yay still have a nice amount of light too right next set great great Oh, that's it. We just have areas where we still need to uh, retouch. Like we finished, and we're like, yeah, we're done. We're so happy. Never done. We hate painting. Or yeah, we don't really like this sort of stuff. Like some people think this is a lot of fun. We don't think remodeling, redoing any of this stuff is fun. <laughs> um, but it, it was one of these like, it's gotta get done. Like it's a disaster. We really need to um, make it our home, right? It. There's something that does not want us to go through. Uh, hopefully nothing like no, no, there wouldn't be. They don't put electrical stuff in slides. Not our slide. Other than the lights, I guess. Maybe that's okay. It's okay. It's gonna stay up. That's it, folks. Nice yeah. little magnetic uh, sculpture there. Wow. Okay. Let's let's just let's let's just put these up here. Let's let's. Says Jessica nervously. <laughs> just. And what Robert and I were noticing is we could probably put, did, we, did I already say this before? I don't know. We could probably get another package panel. and get two additional panels so we can add an additional panel to each window to make it look a little more, you know, instead of just flat, make it look all, what does that even mean? Make, make it look eat, good. Make it look really good. Like we really thought about it instead of just throwing out some 
random curtains. But yay! All right, well, we only have one more to go. Out with the old, in with the awesome. All right, now let's pull off these, uh, you know, oldies. Yeah, so we got those um, when we were, we had to do some filming uh, for Camping World, which they still haven't released that video. But anyway, um, so we did like this knee jerk run to Walmart and got like the cheapest curtains and curtain rods and hooks and whatever that we could find. And uh, they are worth every penny. every penny that we paid for them, and it shows. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so now we're taking those out, and we're actually gonna take this out too. It's 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 ugh. yeah. We're hoping with the sheer curtain that it's gonna allow enough light in when we want it, um, and then of course provide at night at least a little bit of shading. We're not really huge on like oh my god, people might be able to see in, uh, you know. Um, we just don't want just bare, you know, bare windows. Only in the bedroom. Oh my gosh. So, here we go. We decided to get better quality ones in the hopes that these will last longer. I don't know about the wisdom of actually getting white ones right here by the stove <laughs> or making like bacon and salmon and all kinds of things that it could get messy. But we'll be able to replace them, you know, and now we'll be more versed in actually replacing these things. How do you like my elbow? I know, isn't it pretty? Should probably put some lotion up there. All right, we're running out of battery, so I'm just gonna pause it. And I'm gonna do like the big reveal. <laughs> yeah, that was a did a little different because the construction there is a little bit different than on the other wall. Well, that's not comforting. No, not at all. Oh, and if you can see right here where there's like a little bit of a backsplash situation going on there. We just purchased that. We were thinking about um, putting that in our kitchen as a backsplash, so. Yeah. Time for some more holes. So as you guys can see, these holes are something ugly. <laughs> so we're going to have to figure out how to patch this stuff up. So yeah, for now we're just going to be left with those holes right above our window. Alright, time for my job, which is putting the curtains up. Uh-oh. Need some help? Uh, I think you need some help. Need some help on that side. There we go. Ta -da! Ta -da! I thought we were gonna do them lower. So these are exactly perfect. the perfect. height of the perfect. window, but now we've got this a little bit here. Jessica's not satisfied. So what we're gonna need to do is um, fill in all these holes, including these ones we made for these curtains and the ones above and then move this down a notch. Either that or get slightly longer curtains, I don't know. I think we'll move them down though, because we've got all this space. On the other ones, we hung the curtain rod right along flush with the top of the window, and that seemed to work out really well. All right, so we just finished uh, putting up our curtains in our kitchen and our living, dining, whatever space, the, the big living space in our RV. And uh, we're super thrilled. Uh, there's a few things we still need to uh, get exactly right like we're gonna buy additional panels for the windows behind us we're gonna buy we're gonna um, patch up some of the holes in the uh, kitchen I'm pointing right in Dan and Robert's face sorry about that um, so that way we can lower the curtain rod so it'll cover the entire window and the little holes that we have from previous fixings right but nothing major we're satisfied with the outcome it's still bright and cheery in here with a little bit of color now before we wrapped up, we did want to talk about the Road Life Project. I think you guys have probably heard us mention it a time or two. And basically, 
it is a, an RV or social club, but it goes beyond that. It is about building community, it's about getting answers to things that you need, but it's all encompassing. So whether you're solo, you're retired, you're working age, you have like 10 kids that you RV with full time that you are homeschooling, all of these different folks will be included in the Road Life Project. And if you have cats or dogs or goats or whatever kind of animal that you travel with. You're welcome too. You're welcome too. And there were, could be like convergences, rallies, whatever. I don't actually know what the terms are going to be for our get togethers, meetups, and get togethers. <laughs> we have no idea. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Well, one of the main functional components for full time RVers, whether you're solo, couples, families, you know, working age youths. Are we youths? Sure. We're youth sure, full, gray hairs or retirees is, is the health insurance component. That's one thing that as a working age couple, we're always thinking about whether it's provided by our jobs or now this opportunity with Road Life Project to get health insurance for maybe just Jessica, maybe the entire family. So something that you can partake as a member of Road Life Project is to get that option. That's right. And there will be like homeschooling type activities also online. So it, it's something for everyone. It's going to be a unique uh, RV social group. There are some out there, um, but this is a new one that's going to maybe fill in some gaps. Um, and of course, we're encouraging you to join. We're not saying don't join the other ones, but we're saying to come and join us at the Road Life Project. Get your health insurance. Get plugged into a homeschool community. Get plugged into a very dynamic group that's going to have all kinds of dynamics, all kinds of people, all in this club. Exactly. If you're a full timer, solo, like I said, or couples, we do have that connection with being able to get jobs while you're work camping. So that's another facet. Not only how am I going to do this? I still need a job. Well, we're going to have resources where you can get jobs. How do I repair my RV? I've been doing this for two or three years, and I always have to take it in for service. What if you want to do it yourself? You will have access to subject matter experts. Subject matter experts in RV repair, subject matter experts on how to find a job while you're RVing, getting the health insurance. And like Jessica said, one thing that she's going to be helping to focus on is the whole road schooling aspect, the homeschooling, unschooling aspect of full-time RVing. Yeah, and if you've ever felt like you want to be part of this group, but let's say you have friends that have kids, uh, maybe you're a little bit older yourself, maybe you're solo, but you haven't found maybe a club that everybody can go to the brewery together or everybody can go on a hike together in kind of an organized fashion. The Road Life Project will allow for that, and we're really excited about it. Um, it's going to launch in, what is it, like 60 days, 50 days? Less than we 50 days. We're really close in we're now. Close. So, so what you need up. to do is go to roadlifeproject.com, and you'll be able to sign up. And you'll be able to say, hey, you know, I'm new to this. I'm, a, you know, RVing by myself. I'm an RVing family. I'm RVing working age. So go check it out now. Sign up for updates as we get out there for that launch. Mm -hmm. And we want to launch as big as we can and get this going. A new community where we are creating what it is to be on this Road Life Project. So roadlifeproject.com. And make sure to let them know that you heard about Real Life Project from Exploring the Local Life. We're going to be on there, we're part of the community, and we're excited about it and can't wait to see you there. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Leave comments or questions about Real Life Project or curtains. Bye. <laughs> Bye.